Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, bringing you another Battlefield 5 weapon guide. And today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at one of those medic guns, the MP28. A super effective SMG to wield in close quarters that can be equipped on your loadout when you reach Clash Rank 10. Now you might be thinking that this gun looks pretty familiar, and if you play Battlefield 1 before, then that sort of verifies why because the MP28 is unsurprisingly related to the MP18, which was quite an iconic weapon in the last game, being one of the first guns you could get your mitts on in online multiplayer. The MP28 is basically a newer, improved version developed 10 years later. Of course, the MP18 was going to eventually get upgraded, being one of the first practical submachine guns of its time to be used in full-blown combat, and being the successful weapon that it was, it made complete sense to keep the existing design relevant. So 10 years later, what exactly changed between the two models? Well, apart from a few tweaks and minor alterations, not really a hell of a lot. The snail drum magazines were replaced with straight ones, which was actually already something that had been developed for modified MP18s in the early 1920s, so the MP28 was made compatible with those. And the weapon's mechanism had also been modified, so it was capable of firing in both fully and semi-automatic modes too. One more little change was to the gun sights, with the newer MP28 using a tangent sight rather than a small flip-up notch. But apart from that, the MP28 was quite similar to the MP18 in the way it looked and functioned. The gun was chambered to fire the very same 9mm Parabellum round, a very popular one to be used by the Germans in both world wars, though the MP28 was also made available in a fairly wide variety of other different calibers, so it'd be better suited for export. So being related to such a famous World War I weapon, essentially being the evolved model, you'd naturally expect the MP28 to be one of the more popular SMGs to be supplied to German soldiers upon its creation. Though it was actually aimed more so towards the commercial market, hence why it was offered in several different calibers. The MP28 wasn't officially adopted into German military like the MP18 was, though it was used by SS forces along with German police and the MP28 sold a lot better abroad, in countries like China, Spain, Portugal and Belgium, where some of the export models were even manufactured at a later date. The gun saw a lot of action in the Spanish Civil War, though pretty much as soon as that ended and the Second World War began in 1939, all further units made in Germany were allocated to be used by its native armed forces. Newer submachine guns like the MP40 became more prominent in German service throughout the war, but the MP28 was still used in limited numbers, nevertheless. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to those juicy stats. The MP28 deals a maximum damage of 25 up to the range of 10 meters, allowing it to kill in 4 bullets within those shorter sightlines, which is pretty typical for the SMGs in Battlefield 5. This damage then gradually slopes off from this point, becoming weaker and weaker over distance, till those bullets reach the range of 100 meters, where that minimum damage of 13.2 is going to be dealt, translating over to an 8 shot kill. So you're going to need to land quite a lot of bullets on target if you're taking on someone further away. As you'd probably expect from a submachine gun, this gives the MP28 much more appeal within close quarters, where it's going to deal that maximum damage and kill at its quickest, but the gun's going to be far less effective against players further away, who many of which are going to be wielding weapons that are more powerful over range potentially giving them an edge in a firefight. Definitely wouldn't recommend trying to take on any snipers in the distance, as that's usually not going to end very well for you. Unlike quite a lot of the other medic weapons, the MP28's fire rate can't be boosted using specialisations, so you're stuck with the gun's vanilla fire rate of 670 RPM. Thankfully though, this is actually pretty good as it is, as you're going to be able to shoot at the same pace as the Assault Class's Sturmgewehr 1.5 and you'll be able to fire faster and kill quicker than a fair few of the other automatic weapons in the game, including some of the other SMGs like the Sten, MP40, MP34 with or without its increased fire rate specialization, and the ZK303 in its base form. The MP28's fire rate isn't too shabby, and it's going to make it pretty easy for you to drop targets in nippy speeds in CQC, where it's designed to be used the most, promoting aggressive play and making it a very deadly gun for rushing the objective and playing close to all the action up on the front lines. Fortunately for the MP28, it can kill reasonably quickly. Unfortunately for the MP28, that's only providing you can get your shots to connect. The weapon's got a somewhat violent recoil pattern that can cause quite a few of your bullets to stray off target, limiting its effective range. 
which isn't really helped out by the gun having a lower than average muzzle velocity too. With horizontal recoil values of 0.375, this is going to cause the gun's line of fire to skip around from side to side a bit more than the slower firing SMGs, though at the same time giving it a little bit more accuracy over the faster shooting ones like the Tommy gun and the Suomi. The MP28's upwards kick of 0.6 is also a bit on the higher side too, slightly more than the EMP, something that can't be reduced using specialisations either. The MP28 is also going to gain more recoil over time the longer it's fired too, having a vertical increase value of 0.05, so not only is the gun fairly inaccurate, but it's also not going to perform brilliantly when you're holding down that trigger and firing in longer streams, making it even harder to use outside close range. This also means that you're probably going to need to fire in shorter bursts to keep it under control, if you're brave enough to take on someone outside of the gun's comfort zone that is. But this fairly erratic recoil pattern isn't the end of the world for the MP28, because it can be toned down a bit by using specialisations, slightly increasing the gun's effective range in the process. The body barrel's going to give you a bit more precision, reducing that horizontal recoil down to 0.3, making it about 22% more accurate. This specialisation also, funnily enough, happens to affect the gun's vertical increase value slightly too, as that's going to go down to 0.04, overall helping to make the gun feel a bit more manageable. The other slower firing SMGs are still going to have the accuracy advantage, but some of the MP28 specialisations do help the gun out quite a lot, including the ones that lower hip fire spread, that are also going to be really useful to have equipped within the gun's optimal range in CQC. Being a close quarter combat weapon, reliability plays a vital role in your survival within those shorter sightlines in enemy territory, and in the MP28's case, most of the time, it's going to be fine enough, with the gun holding up to 30 rounds, which should be plenty to take on a few enemies quickly in CQC. It's got a larger ammo count than the Tommy gun and the Suomi's standard 20 round models, and fires slower than both of those weapons too, meaning you're probably going to find it a bit easier to manage how many shots you fire out a tad better potentially making it a more dependable choice to use over those in offensive situations. The MP28 only holds two rounds less than the EMP, MP40 and the Sten gun, and it can generally take down a few people up close with a fully loaded magazine without leaving you gasping for more bullets. Targets further away are going to require more shots to kill, and more shots are likely to miss too, so of course these factors drastically lower the gun's reliability for taking on players in the distance, as those 30 rounds are going to get depleted much quicker than you'd probably like. However, the MP28 does have that extended magazine specialisation, jumping its ammo count up to 50 shots per reload, which is a very nice amount of bullets to have at any given time, especially if you're coordinating flanks and rushing around behind enemy lines, taking on multiple players one after the other. Plus, she'll also be given the additional benefits of being able to hold more ammo too, having a new carrying capacity of up to 150 shots as opposed to 120 which is essentially like having an extra 30 round magazine more than standard. The extended magazine itself gives you an extra 20 shots to use in gunfights, technically allowing you to kill another 4 to 5 players, and although it's much bigger, it doesn't take any longer to reload than the standard 30 round mags. Both magazines take 2.4 seconds to swap over with bullets left over, an extra second more if they're totally empty at 3.4 seconds neither of which are particularly quick reloads, as these times are sort of on the slower side when compared to a lot of the other SMGs, especially the tactical one, and the fact that these speeds can't be increased with a quick reload spec, where other guns can, also makes these times a little bit worse for the MP28's reliability, meaning you're going to have to account for these slightly longer than average reloads and generally be a bit less gung-ho, another reason why that extended magazine might come in pretty handy. So taking a look at those specialisations, now this is a funny one really, because I actually like running down either side of the tree, as each side offers some really big benefits that are going to help you out in different situations, though I tend to run straight down the left side more often, as that's generally going to benefit the gun's effectiveness within shorter ranges, where the MP28 is generally supposed to be used. At the top we've got slings and swivels on the left, quick aim on the right. The main reason why I picked slings and swivels is because that's going to complement my next choice further down the tree a lot better, allowing me to recover faster after sprinting and swap around your gadgets and pistol quicker, which can often come in pretty handy with the gun having those longer than average reload speeds. Quick aim only really affects the aim down sight speed, which will be beneficial when taking on players a bit further away and will go much better with the other choices on the right side of the tree, 
but because I've chosen to mainly optimise my hip fire accuracy over aimed accuracy, the faster deploy time granted by slings and swivels is probably going to be more useful in most CQC engagements. I really enjoy running around spraying bullets from the hip, and the polished action and enhanced grip specialisations combined with that extended magazine not only turns the gun into a hip fire beast, cutting out the need to aim down sights and therefore allowing it to kill faster in close quarters, but it also gives you more bullets to use here too. So you're not going to get caught out so often in dangerous situations up close, where you're probably going to be most of the time. This is even more useful knowing that the reload speeds aren't quite the best, especially if you empty that magazine. Though I've also had some really good results by running down the right side of the tree too, because the MP28 is a pretty angry gun that kicks around quite a lot, making it a tricky thing to use beyond point blank range, so the ported barrel and custom stock options do help the gun out quite a bit. You might have to be a bit more wary about running out of shots, having that smaller 30 round mag, though if you prefer aiming down sights in gun battles, the right side might be the better way to go for you, perhaps making it slightly more effective over longer ranges as opposed to skirmishes closer by. So anyway, in conclusion, the MP28 is kinda like the gun that wants to be the rapid firing bullet hose, but doesn't really want to completely sacrifice all of its other qualities in the process, for the sake of speed and power. It can definitely fire quick enough to give your opponents a hard time within close quarters, but it's not going to punish them quite so harshly, having a fire rate that's still fast, but not bloody ruthless. This snippy rate of fire is still going to affect the gun's recoil pattern in a negative way though, because quite a lot of your shots are going to stray off target when you shoot, which might not be a massive problem within the MP28's optimal range up close, but will reduce the gun's effectiveness against those enemies a bit further away. And coupled with the fact that it's going to take quite a few more bullets to bring down longer range targets, along with the fact that the gun's muzzle velocity is also on the slower side, making it even harder to use over range, well, none of these things really go into the MP28's favour, pretty much restricting it to close quarter fights only, unless you want to risk your life trying to take on someone further away, and a lot of the time, that's probably not going to be the smartest thing to do. It's going to perform a lot worse over distance, though I would recommend bursting your shots in smaller streams if you do need to fight someone outside of the gun's comfort zone, as the MP28 is going to generate extra recoil per shot, making prolonged fire a bit worse than with some of the other SMGs, and so you're going to be able to control the gun's kick a bit better by tap and burst firing, should a sneaky enemy pop up in the distance to take you on while you're running around in the open. Depending on your specialisation choices, you can boost the gun's accuracy when aiming or using hit fire catering for different ranges a little bit more, and these choices are probably going to let you land more shots, thus making those magazines a bit more sustainable. You'll have either 30 or 50 shots at your disposal, which should be more than enough to get you through most fights and allow you to take on a few enemies reliably, providing you don't get too ballsy and don't get yourself outnumbered. Its reloads aren't exactly fantastic, so just be a bit careful and remember to keep an eye on your ammo count to avoid those awkward situations. Overall, the MP28 is a solid choice for aggressive medics that want a finer balance between its attributes, yet still want a reasonable amount of stopping power to be a force to be reckoned with in CQC. It's not quite as deadly as a few of the other guns in the game, but it definitely shouldn't be underestimated, being a fairly well balanced offensive choice. So that's just about it for another one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, you know what to do and let me know down in the comments whether you like the MP28 and which specialisations you prefer. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content, and I'll be seeing you in that next episode.